Well, hello there, gorgeous. Hope you're having a great day so far. It's always so nice to see you. Today, I am testing out a rather new product that has been released from LA Girl. I was on Ulta's website recently to get the Essence palettes that just came out, and I was looking through all the new stuff, and this popped up. This is their tinted foundation. It says it has a buildable natural finish. It has sheer to medium coverage. It contains vitamin E, ginseng, root extract it looked like basically a tinted moisturizer of sorts and the shade that I'm using here by the way for reference before I forget to say it is ivory I have tried the LA girl what was it uh, the pro matte HD foundation they came out with many years ago do you remember that I loved that stuff my only problem with it now is that it's full coverage and I love lighter weight foundations and things like this so I've gravitated away from it even though I really like it but my experience with that has opened my eyes to other LA girl products like this so I have high hopes for this one I can't lie to you because I've already tested this out <laughs> This is not my first time putting it on, but I'm not going to spoil it. So what I am going to do is show you how it applies so you can get a good idea of that. Now, the way that I'm doing this today is I'm applying a primer on one half of my face, nothing on the other side because I want to see how the foundation is going to wear. I want you to see what it looks like without and with a primer. So the primer that I'm using on this side of my face is the Bare Minerals Primetime Primer. So I will take that and apply it and the areas where I usually will see breakdown happen. You more than likely picked up on the runny consistency that this has. It is very, <laughs> very runny. It goes everywhere. The other thing that caught me off guard about it was how bright it looked at first. When I first used it, I thought, oh, shoot, I got the wrong color because it was not looking like it was going to be a color match at all. But when you blend it in, it is undetectable, you can't see it, and it actually is a really nice color match for me. And this is with one light layer of the tinted foundation. And you can see that it does a beautiful job of evening out the skin tone. It did cancel out some of the redness that I have. You can still see a little bit of it in this area on my cheeks. So with this one, I have been doing two layers of it to get the coverage level that I personally want. And the way that I do it is I take a very, very, very small amount because it's a pretty pigmented product and then I'll apply it only in the areas where I really need it and blend it in from there. They're really easy to blend. And it looks great with whatever medium you choose. I mean, you can do this with your fingers, with a brush, a sponge, and every which way you use it, it's excellent. And there you can see, I didn't add that much of the product, but that tiny bit more helped to even out the redness and give me a clear complexion. And it looks like skin. If I come in really close here, which I will do, make sure I don't trip over my microphone, <laughs> you can see how skin-like that looks. And I am going to go ahead and apply my concealer to set my face today. I'm using the Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. And those are the final results. It's absolutely beautiful on the skin. It doesn't look like you're wearing anything. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything, but it does a beautiful job of evening out the complexion and getting rid of all the minor imperfections that you may want to disguise. But the true question is, does it last? Thankfully, due to the magic of editing being what it is, you only have to wait two seconds to find out. All right, it has been a total of, what time is it now, 11 o'clock? <laughs> it's been, close to 10 hours and between nine and 10 hours roughly since I applied that 
what are we calling this? Tinted foundation. <laughs> Bear with me. And this is what my face looks like. No touch-ups, by the way, no blotting done whatsoever. And that's pretty, yeah. On this side, it's, I would say it's a little more shiny on this side without the primer compared to this side where I did apply the primer. You can still see though that it is pretty dewy over here. Um, it did fall apart around the nose a little bit there and I will come in closer so you can see that. There's also some movement around my jawline like right here where it rubbed off and what's funny is it didn't happen over here. It's completely intact so I'm going to come in really close here so you can see what I'm talking about hopefully. I don't know if I did something different on this side of my face compared to this side. It's interesting because when I hold my phone, I usually hold it on this side, so you would expect it to rub off. It did transfer on my phone today. I did see that to make you aware that this is not transfer proof, but it's fully intact on the side without the primer, which is an interesting observation. I really, 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 really wanted to love this based on my history with LA Girl and them having really high quality products overall, usually I'm really, really happy with most everything I've tried from them. And while this is not a horrible product, it's not the worst I've ever tried, it's not one that makes me swoon or I'm extremely happy about, and I feel like I got a lot of mixed results here. The side with the primer could look a little better than what it does. I'm kind of at a loss. I, I'm disappointed in it. I'm just gonna tell you that, I don't know. For us oily folks out here, I don't know that it would be one that I would recommend based on my personal experience with it. While it is beautiful finish, amazing lightweight coverage, I don't feel like it holds up well all day long, even with a primer. And I will tell you too that today was a really excellent day to test this out because it was humid and I've been doing a lot of gardening as many of you know and I usually don't go out to do anything in our garden until about 6.30 at night because it is just that heat during the day. But even at six o'clock at night it can get like, yeah, you're sweating. So I mean, I wasn't sweating on my face tonight but it was hot out and I was sweating you know, like normal. And so, I mean, I experienced some of that heat flush, obviously in my face. And yeah, it was put through that type of test, which I feel like is a really great way to test products like this. If you have a dry complexion, absolutely try this one out. I think that you would really enjoy it from the standpoint of the finish and how dewy it is on the skin and you wouldn't have a problem with the lasting power. But for those of us who are oily, I really think that you might be disappointed in it and just trying to save you some money if it's one you have been looking at. But let me know your thoughts on it. If you've tried it out, if you would like to try it, I will have it listed and linked for you below in the description box. And I hope that you found this helpful today. Have a beautifully blessed rest of the week. I am working on a video right now for Friday of all of the new Essence eyeshadow palettes. There are six. They also have a new tinted moisturizer that came out. I'll be including that with that video. So. Hopefully I can get that done before Friday, but I look forward to seeing you then.